All right, so here I am, parking lot. And, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna change out the oil filter. I guess I could probably do the oil too, right? But uh, I did go and get a Walmart oil change, and this is what it says up here. So we'll focus in on it. It says uh, 0722-2021, or change it at 236,737 miles. So if we look down here, my trip from the last uh, oil change says 4,925 miles with a point seven over there and we'll move it over to the actual tachometer reading so it does say Two three eight six six three. So two hundred and thirty eight thousand six hundred and sixty three. Two three eight six six three. So it's on the tack, and it says to change it out at two three six seven three seven. Super tech. EB, I don't know what EB means. It was supposed to be a full synthetic. Maybe it was a synthetic blend. Um, 5W30. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this out. There's the oil filter. I am extra guard. Everybody talks shit about these on the uh, internet. Right? Here we go. Take a look on the inside of this. Uh, it looks fine to me. I don't see any rust or anything in there. But of course, I didn't cut it open, and the purpose of the filter is to filter. So it's better to have this on there than nothing at all. And it does say that it is, uh, what do you call it, 10,000 mile. Protection trusted since 1934. Yeah. I found this uh, oil pan thing in a trash can with a defect sticker on it saying that uh, it leaks or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And see if it does. If it doesn't, then uh, we're good. We're good to go. So, probably doing this backward now. I'll just go ahead and put some more oil, engine oil in here. This. Fill it up. Bam. Let that just kind of uh, soak in. Go ahead and slide this pan under. Pan here. I don't even know if I can get a good uh, good visual on this. I don't know if I have to go with the piano. I really don't want to do that. I want to stay portrait if I can. <clears throat> kind of tight. I think it'll work better. Let's see what we can under here. And I did buy this specifically for this filter. Uh, from Walmart for like $4, the Hyper Tough. So I figure if you're going to have a vehicle, just put the right cap on there. Oh, and there it goes. 
just let it drain. I guess I'll just go ahead and change the oil out. It doesn't have a bad smell to it or anything, so I mean I could just leave it in there. Uh, change it out at 10. But I mean even the color still looks good. See what I mean? It's not it's not too too uh, messed up. But since I don't know exactly what uh, oil they put in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and change it out and then we'll run it for f we'll uh, put that filter on we'll change the filter out at five and check the color again Okay, that's a 17 millimeter. Now let me kick this pan under here. So, 17 millimeter. Fucking bolt plugged it up. It's definitely not a good thing to happen. Actual plug plugged up that. Alright, let's go ahead and put this filter back on. I think it was, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? It's like right here. Can't see. Oh, can't see it. Alright, we'll just wipe that off. 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 Alright, I went ahead and 
filled this oil filter up three times and let it sit. And it definitely took all that oil. Spin it towards the air conditioner compressor. Alright, and tight is always good. And tight. Put a wrench on it, you can just that should be good. But... <coughs> now for the uh, oil pan, Let's set this back. Like it's completely out of there. And just grab the uh and wipe that hole out. And then wipe the uh, tip of this plug off of here. Sometimes these have magnets on them, sometimes they don't. Is this one? No, no magnet. No magnet. Does it look good? Looks good. Alright, I'm just go ahead and put that back in. Stop dropping shit. Should screw in hand tight, but it's not. It's not, it's not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> what is going on with that? Hmm. There it goes. Oh, now 
it's going in. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that these go in, you know, easily, like all the way with your hand. Can you change your oil without having to lift this fan up in a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan? I would say yes. All right. The only other thing I would probably do is make sure to put the uh, date of the oil change and the mileage on the oil filter. All right. That's it. Peace. All right, so I did go ahead and fill up the engine oil with this Super Tech 20,000 mile advanced full synthetic 5W30 Dexos. Went ahead and put four, almost five quarts in here. It is good to go. The tools I used was a seventeen millimeter ratcheting combination wrench for the oil plug. Uh, this hyper tough oil, fil oil filter wrench with a two and a half or three inch drive extension, three eighths drive on a three eighths ratchet. And the very all important magnetic pickup tool to catch the oil pan, pan drain plug when it falls into the reservoir over here. <laughs> into this reservoir, which worked. And after you're done using it, just turn that cap and pour it into the old five quart container that you had the good oil out of. Walmart, AutoZone, O'Reilly, they will all take this and recycle it for you for free. Peace.